Opening day of the new year, welcome to the Lathwaite Community Stadium for Woking against Aldershot Town in part two of Derby Day. Now with Vincent over on that far side. Now with Glover. Glover the wrong side of Rowan Ince. Infield looking for Effion, snatched off him by Kellerman. Thanks very much indeed, Chris. As Ince gets it away, header by Amond. It's two on two if Woking right. can get this right. <laughs> with Amond now looking for Brown. Brown is there, left foot in over the keeper! And off the post and in! Two minutes played, Woking are in front! It's Rhys Brown again! One two with Patrick Amond. Cut apart the Aldershot Town defence and Woking lead by a goal to nil. Ian Nicholson. Well, it's been a frenetic start to the game, both ends. Uh, the speed merchants are both ends, but that was a great break and a lovely ball in. And Rhys Brown has been a revelation since he came to Woking, just getting that little chip over the keeper. Very delicate, hit the post and then very slowly went into the goal. Uh, the D. Everybody back for Aldershot, everybody. Yeah. O'Connell, oh, it's just too short. Amaluza was there. Amond has picked it up, though. Amond lofted in to Int straight at the goalkeeper. Great opportunity for working to double their lead, but all the shot are away at the other end. Galloping forward is Davis, looking for Effion. Kellerman is there. Absolutely. Class infield ball to find Partington. Nice triangle football from the visitors. Davis now finding Vincent. Shouldered onto Glover, low ball, looking for Amaluza, got the ball a little bit stuck, gets the strike away, and it's high and wide. It is the closest all shot town have come, and just a reminder that Amaluza can cause the problems in the Woking defence. Yeah, best chance all the shot have had. Amaluza did well. As Rob was saying, they need to be clinical with those chances, and he he, he did well, but it was uh, another was... Woking for a couple of other goals that have just gone in. Chesterfield have equalised against Scunthorpe, one-one there, and also Halifax Town nil, Altrincham one. Casey crossed into the area. Ooh. Kellerman was arriving. He threw himself at it. And it's rolling out of play comfortably for a goal kick, which they take quickly. All the shot, and Amaluzo wasn't really and cleaned up by Partington. And away by Cordner. Here's Amaluza now on the turn. Lovely ball down through the lines to Ine Effion, who's driving forward now up against Charlie O'Connell. Switches back to his right boot. Effion still going! And equalises! Ine Effion, he just had to score! Scorer on Boxing Day! Scorer on New Year's Day! And Ine Effion has equalised for Aldershot Town against his former side. Five minutes to go until half-time. Woking won. Aldershot Town won. Rob Worrell. When he picked the ball up in the left-hand side of the penalty area, I thought, yeah, I'll drag it back now, I'll try and make room for a shot. Quite often when he does that, it's a bit slow, it's a bit cumbersome, but he judged it perfectly. He drew Casey has another opportunity with this throw, locates Anderson in a bit of space, feeds it back to Casey. Now with Brown, who's on side. Brown turning away from Davis. Brown still going. Can he get the strike on goal? Just wide. Uh, wide and high, rather. A bit of both. But again, as Rob mentioned a few moments ago, a man he was touted as a, a very good player in League One. I think began at Arsenal a long time ago. So Casey's resulting free kick is cleared away by Effiong, only to the head of Ince. Effiong's wrestling with McNerney now. Arriving is Kellerman. Hasn't cleared it though. Kellerman was he caught? Penalty! <laughs> Kellerman was caught just a yard inside the penalty area. Not too sure who by. There was a real cloud of players in the way. But Woking on the brink of half time have a chance to go back in front from the spot. And you can guess who has grabbed the ball straight away. Reese Brown. All the shot players. It was, yeah. a, it was a bit of a. He was caught, obviously. And here we go with Reese Brown. Reese Brown up against Ashby Hammond. Reese Brown sends him the wrong way. Woking are back in front on the edge of half time. They've been lacking that killing edge ever since Aldershot equalised. They restore their lead, it's two goals to one. Rhys Brown, once again amongst the goals, two for him today, two for Woking. They lead by two goals to one. Superbly take a penalty, I have to say, if this is the score going into half-time. Amond and Daly going for the same ball, and Daly's done really well to locate Amon now. Amon charging forward into the Aldershot Town box. Amon with his back to goal, looking for support. First time ball from Daly is a good one, looking for Kellerman! <laughs> Woking are 3-1 up now and it's Jim Kellerman a former shot who puts them in front up to 3-1 now Jim Kellerman has got the goal his second of the season 
Wonderful play from Amond and Daly over on that far side. And Kellerman met the Daly cross, tucked it beyond Ashby Hammond, and all of Aldershot's good work has gone amiss. Ah, uh, what do you say? Um, Kellerman, his passing in the two games has been atrocious, but his spirit has been incredible. And he right now is the difference in both games because he just won't go away. He's a pest for you, against you. And oh, the keeper's oh, lost oh, out oh. here! And the keeper's lost it to Amon, who has an empty goal to tuck it in! And Amon's made it four! Shocking goalkeeping from Luca Ashby Hammond straight from the kickoff! And in a matter of seconds, this game is dead and buried! Woking three, Older shot one, and then a few seconds later, Woking four! Older shot one, it's Patrick Amon who's got himself on the score sheet! Ian, what was Ashby Hammond doing? It's a, it's like he's a young goalkeeper, so they're often taught to bring the ball out and play it around. But you don't do that with a... I mean, Pottering on just nipped in, took the ball off him and ran through on goal. It was... Rob, I mean, what do I you say? Well, I didn't see how the build-up, because I was facing you and, and just commenting on the previous goal. Um, all I can tell you, those in red and blue will feel like I do. Stunned and sick. He's on loan from Fulham, learning his trade. He's played all in the youth system at Fulham, under 18s, 23s. His season at Aldershot, you'd hate to think will be remembered by that mistake. It's a low drive from Vincent, straight at Craig Ross. And, uh, he said he'd never done a mistake like that in his career. And, uh, and here's sure Brown. Ashby Hammond won't do it again. Here's Rhys Brown trickling his way through again. Rhys Brown looking for support with a Mond. Goes back to Anderson, who loses out, but wins it back after a lovely turn there from Anderson on his opposite number. And Woken starting to celebrate in style here with Ince's shot. Oh, and it's off the post. Just wide from Rowan Ince. They are dancing their way through the bat line of the shots now, who just simply need to regroup. They certainly do. Um, where do you go from 4-1 down with 34 minutes to go? I mean, yeah, technically this time. But... By Ross. Thanks very much indeed, Chris. Sorry, Rob, to interrupt you. Yeah, sorry, Rope Woken on the attack. Brown, who's shaping for the shot, had a couple of opportunities to, to give it a whack and sort of was put off with it, really, with... Red and white shirts flooding forward. In the end, it's safely over the crossbar goal kick, Rob. Yeah, Amaluza had it. by Casey. Casey, with two yellow shirts in front of him, has somehow trickled it through to Anderson. All touch went flying in there, and Anderson could that be in a be spot a of bother. That might it be is. A red. It's a red card. Two of the last three games between Woken and Aldershot have seen red, and Anderson is off for an out of control tackle. On the order shot midfielder, couldn't see who, might have been Vincent. But uh, the one blemish on the afternoon, if there was to be no more, we're well, going to see Elva Fontaine for order shot very shortly. Marcel Elva Fontaine, as the corner is whipped in, right underneath the goalkeeper, it falls to Amond, left footed strike! Oh, and it's just wide. There was a nick through from an order shot town defender, so it will be another corner, but Amond. Hit that with some real venom there. Yeah. They've got a free kick here, of which they have nine yellow shirts in the box. Curled in, though, looking for Phillips off the crossbar. Not too sure if Ross got a touch. Here's Effiong finding his left foot, slices the effort. He's still going, meanwhile. And Glover goes all the way back out. Yeah, very good opportunity. You know, Aldershot's best opportunity in the second half, really. And uh, as Rob said, too little, too late. And. Uh, it was a good ball, actually, from Glover yeah, to give him credit. There it is. The full-time whistle was blown. Derby Day belongs to Woking for once. Boxing Day win, New Year's Day win. They've done the, the double over Aldershot Town for just the second time in the 21st century against Aldershot. 4-1 they've won here. Two goals from Reese Brown. Jim Kellerman's header, a shocking Goalkeeping error from Luca Ashby Hammond, of which Amon tapped into an empty net. Four goals for Woking.